Turkey breeders will raise 160 million of our foul-feathered friends this year, but this dim-witted white domestic turkey is a far cry, or gobble, from his ancestor, the wild turkey, a proud bird that Ben Franklin nominated to be our national mascot. Of course, it lost out to the eagle, but that's not all the turkey lost. Until recently, the bronze-colored wild turkey could more easily be found on the label of strong liquor than in its natural habitat, the forests of North America. American Indians domesticated the turkey. The pilgrims found out how good the birds were to eat, sent some back to Europe, and suddenly they were not enough to go around. The northeast forests, where the wild turkey so easily blends in, were dwindling too as early colonists cleared extensive acreage for farming. So the wild turkey faced extinction. But effective game management has helped the wild turkey population to climb to 2 million today, a fact about as unknown as the parts of a turkey's head. All right, the features of the male head are the snood, the wattles down the neck, and the dark uh, feathers are called the beard, which is a male characteristic. Also, the wild turkey runs to a different drumstick than its white cousin. These are bred fat for our dinner tables. They make good waddlers, but a wild turkey can easily outrun Herschel Walker. Given a natural habitat, the wild turkey reproduces like rabbits. The domestic turkey has a real problem here. I would say that the main problem today is the production of hatching eggs because of the turkey breeders, the hens do not produce large number of eggs and due to a problem with mating, many of the eggs are infertile and of course do not hatch into the baby turkey which is called a poult. Researchers at the University of Georgia are looking for ways to control the brooding habits of turkeys and thus increase the production of baby poults. As you sit there and gobble up your Thanksgiving and Christmas turkeys, you can think that today's version is a lot different from the wild turkey that roamed the woods of North America many years ago. Even today, poultry scientists are breeding turkeys and chickens together to better understand some of the diseases they get. With the Environment Report, I'm Alan Eustace.